guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today, before starting, I wanna keep reminding you about the big event that I'm gonna be hosting on February, February 3, 4, and 5. Okay, it's gonna be the forehand week where I'm gonna just focus on the forehand side. Everything, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been talking yesterday uh, on the question box and everything, and people were giving ideas of what they like to see because I still uh, recording for it so I still have a couple of minutes to add things that you guys would like to see so remember February 3, 4 and 5 the forehand week I'm gonna have a link in the next videos where you guys can register so you don't miss it amazing but now let's focus on what I want to talk today which is the one-handed backhand down the line I don't want to make this video too long but I want to give you um, a couple of tips of things that you need to know and the things that you should do different something close to when we work on the forehand side and the things that I do different and I was taught different when I was learning this shot and why it's really important that you execute it well the same thing that we talked last week on the forehand when we said that a good shot down the line is the one that actually goes down the line follows uh, the same line and you can get it if you make here uh, one step from the sideline okay because after this it would be more like a down the middle shot and you'd be vulnerable and open spaces to be attacked and to make yourself run to the other side so one of the things that is very important here is again as the same in the forehand is from where you hit the ball with a one-handed backhand we probably have something different because if you think with the two-handed you have the, the left hand in my case that I'm ready to guide the ball on the forehand you have um, a better control and you don't change too much the the path of the swing but on the one hand it you really make a difference when you want to hit the ball cross court okay and you pull the hand to create that spin or to create the angles and when you want to hit it down the line also on how you fall okay on how you keep the balance a little longer to take the ball down the line if you see the players if i'm running from down the middle and i want to play cross court what i do is just running here hit the ball okay and fall right away after the shot to recover okay and be facing already to the other side and i would and i would be pulling okay really hard okay here with my hand to create the spin at a good angle depending if i want a short angle long angle or a high ball Now when I go down the line, I will need to come from here, hit the ball, and I need to stay a little more. Now think about this, if you're coming from the middle, okay, split step, you go, you hit the ball there. If you, from here, besides that if you get the ball a little more from the outside, same thing that we get, uh, we talk on the forehand, okay, if you hit it right from behind, it would be tougher to make it cross course, so you'd be hitting more from the outside of the ball, kind of like to, wrap it up and take it cross court but the most important here and i will put players showing you the difference between the hitting and falling and between the hitting and taking it a little more you will follow okay because you need to hit and then fall to be ready but there is an extra time that you stay there with your chest kind of like facing the line here to take the ball down the line There is a, a, my coach used to tell me that you hit cross court but you take the ball down the line if you understand this there is a big difference between hitting down the line and taking the ball down the line especially in the one-handed he said that this is a, it's a shot that you can like design with your own hand and when you see players and correct me if I'm wrong but for me seeing a one-handed watching one-handed backhand down the line winner is probably one of the the best shots the most beautiful shots to see Roger gave us uh, so many years of that so you hit cross court and you take the ball down the line 
I also make a little difference here on the way I breathe, but I'm gonna make a different video for that because it's, it's much longer. And it was amazing when I learned that and when my coaches showed me that. It's, it's just a little difference on the breathing, on the crossing and down the line and how fast you breathe to be able to control the revolutions of your heart to take the ball down the line. It's amazing. Um, I mean, I couldn't believe it when I learned, but after you start to practice this, and I, I taught it to a couple of junior players, and they were like, oh my God, this is, I mean, it actually works. Um, but now, I'm gonna show you a couple of balls hitting, okay, and then we're gonna talk a little about the, the swing path to take the ball down the line. All right, let's take a look. Right, you, you could see there, okay, from behind and from the other side, how I take the ball there and how I manage the different heights of the ball because this is all about in the down the line. You need to be very precise. You could see that I put cones on the other side. It doesn't matter if you hit them, but what you're trying to create is a zone where you're trying to play, okay, kind of like a road, a hole there down the line where you want to do it. You can practice it also playing on the double sally. And I want to give you a little trick that I used to do a lot to be able to learn that instead of pushing all the way, okay, calling with your with your hips and rotating, when you're hitting the down the line, you can practice it here. One, hit and stay. One, hit and stay. One, hit and stay. All right, you can see here that I hit, I stay, and then I follow. You kind of like, the timing would be following when the ball it's already almost bouncing in the other side, okay? So you're gonna come, hit, and then fall to be ready to go. Okay, that's why I say that the down the line has to be not a winner, but a breaking ball that is gonna create damage for you to then maybe, or go to the net if you're not too behind the baseline, or already take the court with the forehand, all right? All right, so just to recap, so I, I finished the video before it starts to rain, even more. Remember, from where you impact the ball, that matters so much, the same that we talk on the forehand. The coiling, okay, and the rotation, how you're gonna keep, okay, your body a little longer, how you're gonna keep the racket up here instead of pulling it all the way. The drill that we made, amazing one to learn to control. And then the biggest difference for me when I was learning this, is the difference between hitting cross court and taking the ball down the line. If you learn the concept, if you understand the concept behind the word taking it, it's gonna make the whole difference because when you're going into play, you're gonna be aggressive with the cross court and you're gonna be effective and damaging with the down the line. That's the most important thing of hitting a good and effective ball down the line, all right? If you don't like the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't share with your friends, please um, remember, okay? Soon we're gonna have the, the link for the forehand week. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch all the content. There is another video that I'm gonna leave in the description with a lot of drills of the one-handed that I think I posted two months ago. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.